Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. I am in 2012 batch AIMS student. Did my MBBS from AIMS New Delhi, and I recently completed my MD in pediatrics. I just wanted to discuss a uh, few questions, net controversial questions that are there in the NEET PG entrance examination, and actually wanted to give you the correct answers. I saw some videos that were describing absolutely wrong answers. So let me begin. The first question was that a thirteen-year-old with presents with a history of repeated respiratory tract infection, bulky, greasy stool, high stool per fat percentage. What is correct about the complications which is expected? And the options that were given to you in the examinations were hypernatremia, protein losing enteropathy, intestinal obstruction, and decreased sweat chloride. Now this is a clear cut. This is a clear cut case of cystic fibrosis. You have to realize that this is a clear cut case of cystic fibrosis. What you have to remember as far as cystic fibrosis is concerned is that what happens in cystic fibrosis there is a mutation in on chromosome 7 and this results in defective CFTR gene. The CFTR gene is involved in what? The CFTR gene is involved in absorption of sodium and chloride. It absorbs basically chloride. Along with that chloride, in order to maintain neutral charge, sodium is also absorbed. And with this NaCl absorption, water is gets also absorbed. Now, what happens in uh, cystic fibrosis is that this gene is defective. This results in formation of secretions which are extremely thick. These thick secretions get concentrated in the respiratory tract. There, it leads to bronchial stasis, repeated infection. They get concentrated within the pancreas. There, it leads to pancreatic insufficiency. This pancreatic insufficiency in turns in turn leads to the repeated episodes of diarrhea, repeated episodes of fat malabsorption. That fat malabsorption is given here in the question as those bulky, greasy stool fat percentage is high, and that's how cystic fibrosis tends to present. That's the typical presentation of cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a rare disease. Typically, more than eighty percent of the cases of cystic fibrosis in India are diagnosed in AIMS, from where I did my MD. Right now, in my ward itself, more than seven cases of cystic fibrosis are admitted, and I see them on a regular basis. I have seen them on a regular basis during my residency. Now, the question is, which of the following is an expected complication? Now, it's a very known fact that cystic fibrosis, like I told you, because sodium and potassium, uh, sodium and chloride is absorbed along with that water is absorbed. The, ये वाटर अब्जॉर्प्शन जब नहीं हो पाती व्हेन दिस वाटर अब्जॉर्प्शन इज नॉट देयर एंड सोडियम एंड क्लोराइड इज नॉट देयर तो सिक्रीशंस जो है ना थिक हो जाती हैं इट सिक्रीशंस जब थिक हो जाएंगी ना तो क्या होगा वो ऑब्स्ट्रक्ट करेंगी इट्स प्लेन एंड सिंपल द आंसर इज इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन दे टेंड टू प्रेजेंट दिस स्टूडेंट टेंड टू प्रेजेंट विद मेकोनियम आइलियस लेटर इन लाइफ दे टेंड टू प्रेजेंट विद डिस्टल इंटेस्टिनल बॉल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन डाइबो इट्स कॉल्ड एज डाइबो इन लेटर इन लाइफ especially around adolescence it tends to begin so that is the age group that was given to you in question and having said that even if it's not adolescent it can occur at any age group that's a known complication of cystic fibrosis hypernatremia does not occur like i said sodium absorption nahi ho rahi to sodium loss hota hai to so hyponatremia hota hai sweat chloride mein chloride zyada hota hai it's known thing ki sweat chloride cystic fibrosis mein chloride badha hota hai some some channels are saying that the answer is protein losing enteropathy it's absolutely bullshit yaar simply There is protein loss in cystic fibrosis because pancreatic enzymes are not present. Since pancreatic enzymes are not there because they they are essentially getting obstructed the level of pancreas, pan absorption नहीं हो रहा. So it, that absorption the defect is at the level of pancreas. Enteropathy the word itself suggests that your intestine they are damaged. And the intestine are not damaged in case of uh, cystic fibrosis. You give give these children enzyme supplements. Inka absorption absolutely normal हो जाता है. अगर ऐसा होता है, इनको protein losing enteropathy हो रही होती है cystic fibrosis patients को. तो इनको pancreatic enzymes देने का ये क्या फायदा था? They will keep on losing losing uh, protein. They still will have keep on having protein losing enteropathy. I don't know, but the answer here is clear cut. It's intestinal obstruction, protein losing enteropathy is an absolutely wrong answer. Next question. Now this concerns my speciality hematology oncology. The question is: twenty five year old software engineer, low fruit stages, high on junk, MCV more than one twenty femtoliter, and what is the cause? Now, everyone is getting confused. Okay, we can clearly see that this one twenty femtoliter suggests it's macrocytic anemia. Now macrocytic anemia two causes. As we can see, it will be a nutritional cause because they have given nutritional history. It will be either vitamin B twelve deficiency. It will be either vitamin B twelve deficiency. Or it will be what folic acid deficiency. Now a lot of reviews are saying that the answer is vitamin B twelve deficiency, and I'm I'm simply surprised why why are you giving the wrong answer? 
यार विटामिन डी ट्वेल्व इज एक्सट्रीमली कॉमन मतलब विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व माइड बी द मोर कॉमन डिफिशियंसी एज कम्पेयर टू फॉलिक एसिड डिफिशियंसी आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट द एग्जामिनर हेयर इज नॉट आस्किंग यू द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ माइक्रोसेटिक अनिमिया इट हैज गिवन यू अ क्लिनिकल सिनारियो इट इज आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट क्लिनिकल सिनारियो इट इज नॉट आस्किंग अच्छा इन जनरल बता दो कि माइक्रोसेटिक अनिमिया का मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज क्या होता है दिस इज द डिफरेंस ऑफ नीट पीजी दिस टाइम एज कम्पेयर टू अदर टाइम दिस वॉज नॉट वाइन वन लाइनर्स दीज व proper clinical based scenario questions and the clinical scenario is asking it's a macrocytic anemia and the macrocytic anemia is being caused by low vegetable intake not low non veg intake low vegetable intake means folic acid deficiency answer is clear cut i don't know why people are saying that it is vitamin b12 answer is folic acid deficiency folic acid deficiency low veg and I, like i explained in my video it has happened with me also i was also diagnosed with uh, subclinical i was also diagnosed with uh, folic acid deficiency on a routine blood test my mcv was high i just got a blood test vitamin b12 and folic acid levels done i had normal b12 levels and i had no, low folic acid deficiency they saying vitamin b12 zyada common hoti hai yaar aise to kisi bande ko uh, anemia diagnose karo ke you don't do any test iron deficiency most common hota hai do de do they have given you a clinical scenario the entire purpose of given and given a clinical scenario is to find out the answer through that clinical scenario not find out the most common cause of anemia or most common cause of macrocytic anemia the third question that i found was that uh, there was a history of benzene was given exposure and they asked which what is a common cancer again i don't know why this is creating so much of controversy whether it's bladder cancer or blood cancer for that matter the question clearly said it's a 20 year old first of all bladder cancer ki age group hoti hai 65 years old and the history said repeated infection fatigue repeated infection fatigue and in general like that which suggests towards a leukemia like involvement a blood cancer like involvement fatigue hogi because anemia hoga repeated infection hoga ki wbc kam ho chuke honge ya bad chuke honge but they will not be effective wbc they will be blast essentially theek hai so benzene answer would be blood cancer i don't know why every, anyone is saying it is bladder cancer the answer would be blood it would be blood cancer plus the age group also fits a 20 year old male अगर ब्लाडर कैंसर की हिस्ट्री देनी होती है क्लिनिकल बेस्ड सिनारी है दे वुड हैव गिवन अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ यूरिन इन ब्लड दे वुड हैव हिस्ट्री ऑफ पेन इन एबडोमिन व्हाई वुड दे गिव अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ जनरलाइज फटीक और रिपीटेड इन्फेक्शन टू सजेस्ट दैट इट इज ब्लड कैंसर यू डू नॉट नीड टू हैव वेरी फ्रांकली अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड मेल विद जनरलाइज फटीक एंड रिपीटेड इन्फेक्शन बाकी सारे ऑप्शन वैसे ही रूल आउट हो जाते हैं इन जनरल जो कंसिडरेशन में लुकीमियाज वुड बिकम अ पॉसिबिलिटी विद दिस हिस्ट्री इट सेल्फ सो दीज आर द थ्री क्वेश्चन विच आई फाउंड terribly wrong options are being circulated in the market i just wanted it, i thought it was my responsibility especially for the cystic fibrosis one as a person as a uh, resident pediatrician who has seen cystic fibrosis up close protein losing enteropathy is not a complication of cystic fibrosis it's one rather a rare complication protein loss in cystic fibrosis does not occur because of enteropathy it occurs because of pancreatic enzyme not being present as a scenario with the pancreatic enzyme there's no benefit like i said before anyhow that's about the rant thank you